Jessica from Jay-Z Style Salon. So I have my cute client Jordan here and we are actually doing a video different from blonde hair for once. We are going to be doing mermaid red hair and she comes to me about every four weeks and we refresh her color and add tape and hair extensions. So by the time she gets back to me her ends are pretty much faded to this coppery brown. But what I like about her red is instead of fading pink it does fade to a copper toned brown so it's not as bad of a fade out. Um, so we're going to be doing that today, refreshing her color, adding in long hair so she has real mermaid hair. And she's getting married soon, so we're so excited. Uh, so just stay tuned if you want to see how I do this. Okay guys, I'm going to go over what I'm doing to achieve this red color. And I am using Scruples Illusionist for our feet and Red King Cover Fusion 5NN. And I'm just using the NN to neutralize the 4RB and make it more of a deeper red. So I'm using 20 volume with this, and I am using 20 only because I want to make sure that I get a little bit of lift. Her hair is previously red, faded out, so I don't need a ton of lift. I just want to make sure I open the cuticle enough for it to really stay. So I'm going to be mixing those together, and it's 1.5 developer to 1 ounce of color. Okay, so I just mixed one ounce of the red. And I just did 1.5 ounces of the 5NN. And then I did 1.5 ounces of the 20 volume. So that brought it to 3.5 ounces. And this color is really vibrant. It looks like blood when you mix it up. So make sure you wear gloves. So as you can see here, I've done the roots first and then I drag the color down through the rest of the hair. And this is only because her natural hair is up top and the ends are faded red. So I like to get the color in the root area first because it's going to have a little more lifting to do. And then I bring it through the ends. So now my client's just processing and we are going to let her sit for about 35 minutes and she's in these cute little space buns so she looks like a little space cadet. <laughs> okay, so when re-taping extensions, it's really important to keep track of which extensions go where on the head. So as you can see, I have them separated. These are the longest ones. These are a little bit shorter and these are the ones that were in front and had a little bit of angled layers on them. So I just retaped them all and separated them, so I'm making sure that I put them back in the head correctly.
So I have been bricklaying her extensions up the back of her head, and now on these corners that fall forward, I'm actually gonna put them on an angle, because just like in haircutting, there's corners, just like with extensions. So I'm gonna lay it on an angle so it falls forward. When you're doing a retape, um, the tape that I use tends to be a little bit longer, so I just cut those corners off. No. Okay, and then make sure you get any little hairs that come up, especially on those corners, because that's going to make those corners lift. We're going to the bombshell curls. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going And then with retapes, as soon as I stick them back on, I like to take the flat iron and just heat up those tapes a little bit, and I feel like that makes them last a little longer and stick better. You guys I'm so mad because I totally filmed an ending to this video and I lost it my memory card didn't save it so here are some amazing pictures of her hair just enjoy that instead and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe